Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspartic channel and in our today's video, we will use the shortcut discussion column DSTWU. We have obviously solved this column for various mixtures, but now we will solve DSTWU for a specific mixture, which is an azeotropic mixture of ethanol and water. So we have been given a feed that is at a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade at a pressure of 2 bar, molar flow rate of 1000 kg mole per hour and equimolar ethanol and water are present in the field and we will see how the shortcut distillation column help us in getting the initial estimates of number of stages the flux ratio and so on the top product molar flow rate is 500 kg mole per hour the mole friction of ethanol in the top product is 98 mole percent while that of water is 2 mole percent and in bottom product 500 kg mole per hour the total flow rate mole fraction of water in the bottom product is 98 mole percent while that of ethanol is 2 mole percent so let's quickly go to s plus and solve this simulation and going to s plus we will for the first time we'll be using the s v12 and the procedure will be same that we will add the components the ethanol and water will be added and you can see in s v12 this cas number is available over here v10 it was not then going to next and selecting nrdl as the thermodynamic property package then click on next and then run it and once after running the results are available go to the simulation environment and obviously we will go to the distillation block columns psdw and accordingly we will quickly do the connections area stream in Zero stream out control a control b and accordingly we will select one number stream that is our feed 25 degree centigrade two bar 1000 kg mole per hour mole fraction of ethanol is 0.5 and water is 0.5 and you can see overall the interface of v12 and v10 is nearly the same then click on this b1 and we used minus 1.3 as the reflux ratio and i have been informed in the previous videos as well that the minus sign means that s1 will calculate the reflux ratio the minimum reflux ratio will multiply it with this factor which is 1.3 and then will give us the value of actual reflux ratio but if it is positive 1.3 it means the actual reflux ratio is 1.3 so you have to be very careful the condenser pressure is 1.9 bar while that of the reboiler pressure is 1.95 bar the condenser type is total obviously this recovery is related to the top product we have seen in the problem statement that 98 mole percent ethanol is present in the top product while 2 mole percent water is present in the top product so it means the light key is ethanol and the heavy key is water we will select ethanol and we will select water over here and now we will go to the excel sheet to determine the recoveries so we will quickly go there and we will quickly do it like we will specify the feed the top product the bottom product and accordingly here it will be ethanol water and total so obviously we have been given 1000 kg mole per hour with 0.5 for water and 0.5 for ethanol so 500 kg mole per hour of both and we have been given that the total flow rate of top product is 500 kg mole per hour with ethanol as 0.98 mole percent so we will multiply it and water as 0 0.02 mole percent and accordingly the remaining quantities can be calculated by subtracting top product from the feed accordingly we get it now to calculate the recovery the flow rate in the top product divided by the flow rate in the feed which is 0.98 for ethanol and 0 0.02 for water and we can say it as the recovery so we will put 0.98 in ethanol column and 0 0.02 in the water part but remember these are related to the top product we have already discussed that that if we are given the bottom product conditions then we will have to first compute the top product conditions and then we have to calculate the recoveries because if you put the values of bottom product then the answer will not be right Accordingly, we will go back to this environment. The recovery of ethanol is 0.98, while that of water is 0 0.02. So 
click on this run and once the results are available or not results are available with error click on this ok go to this b1 and b1 gives us the result that the calculated minimum number of stages are minus 31.287 is less than zero this usually happens results when it is too easy to separate the light and heavy key components calculated field location at rate minus 28.981 is greater than the calculated minimum number of stages net density duty is negative in feasible specs now if you see if i take you back to the fundamentals of dstwu it has some assumption in it like if i open it dstwu we see working with dstwu and we see what are the assumptions which we have made you can read this line assume constant molar overflow and constant relative volatilities which is against the principle of azeotropic separation azeotropic separations Obviously, we cannot use that shortcut distillation column DSTWU in S1 plus because it will always give you an answer in negative. However, if you want the answer before the separation, before becoming the azeotrop, it might give us some result. But if you are asking for the separation in the azeotropic region, it won't give you any result. For example, if we say that we need 70 percent for example we need 70 percent and we say it as 0 0.70 and we say it as 0 0.3 and then we will first reset and we will run and we see whether it gives answer it is giving the answer results are available like you can see the reflux ratio is very small the actual number of stages are this and once you go to the stream results you can see it will provide you initial estimates and you can see see the 70 percent 30 percent more fraction is achieved however this is not an azeotropic region so once you have crossed that azeotropic region the shortcut distillation column will not give you any information or will not provide you any estimate for the conversion because you know we use these estimates and we use a rigorous distillation column and we go ahead with the column sizing and weighting and different stuff like the sieve tray bubble cap tray and so on this is one of the example that uh, was obviously not available on the channel and was even asked in various comments as well so i thought to cover that topic and this is how we deal the azeotropic mixing what to do we can use concept over here but again it is related to the three mixture so what we need to do we need to go to the rigorous column and then accordingly we can go here but then rigorous column will behave like the extractive distillation column and you know we have already covered ethanol water example in previous videos as well for the separation and we use this extract and rigorous column to solve the problem so that's it from today's lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel i'm very thankful to the viewers all the subscribers who are pushing this channel up and pulling this channel up and i would request all of those who are watching this video and have not subscribed yet please do subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel if you have any feedback you have any suggestion you can tell me in the comments box or if you want a specific video want a video related to specific title then you can also inform me and i will try to cover that as well till then it's goodbye stay tuned for more exciting videos